So now let's see how we can create a continuous flow of liquid inside of Blender. So in order to do that, first of all, I need to bring in an emitter. So I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard and then bring in an object of my choice. In my case, I'm just going to bring in a torus right here and drag this up. So let's say this is going to be my emitter right here. And now what I want to do is um, bring in the liquid. And the easiest way to do that is by going into edit menu right here and by going into menu search. And over here, you can type in liquid and you can simply click on quick liquid right here. Once I do that, the bounding box is made, as you can see, and you can resize out the bounding box as you wish, as you can see. So I'm just going to resize this and this is what you have. So here there's a simulation, as you can see right here. So once I resize according to what I like, and once I place my object where I like, what I need to do is I need to uh, rerun the simulation right here so that the liquid simulation is proper. But before I do anything, I'm just going to go around, select out this bounding box right here and go around into the properties right here. So let me just go around into physics properties and here all the settings are already set for you right here. So what you need to enable out is change the type to modular and then change to is resumable and then click on uh, 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 unicast right here. So make sure it's modular, resumable, and unicast so that you have other options right here. And if you want a continuous flow of liquid, you need to select the emitter out as well, just like this. So let me just go around, select out the emitter right here. And then in the emitter, uh, you can see that this is what you have. So instead of the flow behavior to geometry, I'm going to say inflow right here. So that's it. So once you do that, you go around, select out this object right here. And once you select out that object, you can see that big data is an option, which is enabled as you enable out these options right here. So I'm just going to click on big data. So it will run the simulation uh, just like this and it has run out everything. So if I were to press the play button, now you can see that the liquid is there and the liquid keeps on filling out right here uh, as the time goes right here. But the overall process of actually um, the simulation does is not complete because if we were to go on to the other view, there's nothing to be seen right here. So uh, apart from baking out the uh, data, the, the, the big data is done. I need to convert that into mess. So I'm going to enable mess right here and then click on bake mess. So once I do that, what happens is that the mess is baked upon and then the liquid is simulated out. So if I were to go around, this is what you have now. So if I were to press the play button, you'll be able to see that there's the mess which is simulated right here. And it looks like the liquid is filling up right here, just like this, as you can see. So if I were to go around onto this right here, this is the liquid, as you can see. So if I were to go around and press the play button, then this is what I have, as you can see right there. If I were to go around, this is what you have. And this is um, this actually looks like a liquid filling up right here. And you can see that the bounding box actually uh, acts as an area uh, which covers up the liquid right there. And that is how you can work around with the liquid simulation of continuous liquid flow inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.